And as we take a look outside right now, we can see we've got mainly clear skies showing up across the area on this Saturday evening with clear skies and light winds. That means our temperatures will be dropping off quickly as we progress throughout the evening. So make sure you grab the jackets, even the hats as you're going to be heading on out and about onto town this evening because you're going to be dealing with some of that cooler air. Lower 40s in the mountains. We've got low 50s now across the upstate, but several 40s sprinkled in as well. Live Super Doppler 4 HD showing us a clear scan across the area, so no weather impacts expected as we go throughout this evening. As we expand the view out, you can see this dome of high pressure situated over the southeast. Again, giving us that northerly flow. That's going to be a clear and cold setup for us as we go throughout the overnight hours. That big nor'easter there continuing to make its way off towards the east coast. Remember, that was the same system that brought us the rain yesterday at this time. And then we're watching another low pressure over Texas. That one could try to impact us as we get into your Sunday night into Monday. So let me walk you through the timing of that here with future radar and clouds. Again, notice I've jumped ahead on the clock here to Sunday at about 5 o'clock. That's an indication that we're going to be dry most of the day. Clouds will start to increase by late in the afternoon. And then overnight Sunday, heading into Monday, we're going to be watching a couple of systems, one to the south and one to the north that will try to bring up some moisture that could give us a few showers, maybe a light wintry mix as we go into your late Monday. Here's the bottom line on Monday. Again, a chance of some light rain moving in from the south on Sunday night. And then as we get into the afternoon, a cold front is going to move in from the north. If we can see uh, that cold front mix with a little bit of that moisture late in the afternoon and evening, that could set us up for a few snowflakes, maybe a couple of sleep pellets. We're not looking at anything too significant out there, but something to watch out for. Right now, it looks like this is going to be a very moisture-starved system, so I don't see this as being something that would cause any uh, concerns across the area. But don't be surprised later in the day on Monday if you see a snowflake or a sleep pellet out there. As far as temperatures go, we still have that surge of cold air to start off the week, but by the end of the week, as high pressure slides away, the warmer air will begin to build in across the area. So we're mostly clear with a light freeze tonight. We'll fall into the upper 20s to lower 30s. Sunday will feature a sunny start, but clouds late with near normal temperatures with highs in the 50s. And then we'll watch that system late Sunday into Monday, followed by some beautiful weather for the rest of the week with lots of sunshine. Highs getting back near 60. Could even see some thunderstorms by next weekend. And in the mountains, again, we'll keep an eye on that system late Sunday into Monday, followed by sunshine and a slow warming trend by the end of the week.